Hello, good morning. It is Tuesday, January 19th. Yesterday was MLK day, so we had a day off work. So I'm just hopping on back to work today. It's actually really late. It's 11.30 a.m. and I'm just starting work now, but it's fine because I'm on Eastern time zone right now since I'm at my parents' house. And where I normally work is in Seattle, Washington in the Pacific Standard time zone. So right now, technically it is 8.30 a.m where my office is located. So I'm totally fine. I've been waking up really, really late this past week. And I honestly think it's just because my period is coming soon. Whenever I'm experiencing those PMS symptoms that come the week before my period, I'm so tired and I can sleep for so long. If you're new here, hi, my name is Sarah. I'm just another 20 something year old who completely lost her sense of identity. After leaving college, we she relied her entire life structure on the education system and now occasionally contemplates going back to grad school because she's experiencing withdrawals from said education system, but then realizes that costs hella big bucks. Subscribe. Okay, but in all seriousness, yes, I am experiencing an identity crisis, but it's fine. It's all good. Honestly, it's not a bad thing. It's just a period of time that I realized the things I wanted before and the person I wanted to be before is no longer what I want. So now I have to figure out what it is that I want. I think this is a thing a lot of us 20-somethings experience, having to completely reinvent our sense of identity. And I think it's becoming more common knowledge now, but a little warning would have been nice a couple of years back. So if you're in college, this is your warning now. Prepare for the potential need to rebuild your identity once you leave the education system. Anyways, okay, that was a depressing note to start off of. Also, I realized this introduction is probably halfway through this video because now I just remembered I vlogged a day from the weekend. But regardless, welcome. <laughs> if you want to know more about me, you're new, you can check the FAQ in the description box below. I'll leave some background questions there so you can get some context. I'm actually going back in less than two weeks, back to my apartment in Seattle. So I'm pretty excited for that. I'll also be sad to leave home, but we'll see how that all goes. It's just another phase of life. I have lots to update you all on in my life, my new morning rituals, things that have been happening, but I'm gonna have to do that in my next work break because I need to hop online. But since it's the first work day of the week, what I'm going to do, I'm really trying to get my life together, is write down on this sticky note and stick it in my planner slash bullet journal system, which I have here, all the things I want to have accomplished by the end of this week relating to my job. I've really struggled with productivity on and off working from home. And I think I've realized I need to enter it with the mindset. Well, not realize I need to, but I'm gonna try this week entering it with the mindset of just getting some tasks done rather than staying glued to my desk from nine to five or whatever the hours are that I'm working that day. Cause I realized that being at an office from nine to five is not the same as trying to stay in the same room in your home from the same hours and trying to imitate that office environment. I'm realizing this really late. It's like a year into the pandemic and I'm still trying to figure out how to work from home effectively. But this is a new thing I'm trying, trying to approach working from home as completing the tasks I need to complete, making progress in the projects that I'm working on as opposed to the absolute value of hours that I am sitting at my desk. It is 2.30 now. We're gonna head to Whole Foods to get some lunch or some pre-made stuff. Cause we went grocery shopping this weekend, but all we did was buy yummy drinks and snacks so nothing we can actually eat of sustenance for lunch. But all I did this morning was I took two meetings and I read through all my emails. That's literally all I've been doing for the past three hours. It's always rough coming back the first of the week, especially when you had a holiday that the Taiwan team did not have, which was, we had an MLK day yesterday, right? So the Taiwan team was in the office and so I had all the emails from yesterday, so I had to handle them today. Oh, so I just woke up to a lot of emails and I'm not even done replying to all of them, but at least I read them through and hit all the hot items first. Anyways, yeah, now we're gonna head to Whole Foods. And also I've been really thinking about getting a dog. I think I've talked about this a little while back, but Jill and I were pretty serious about getting a dog back in, what was it, October? October, we were pretty serious about getting a dog. We actually even put down a deposit for a dog. But basically the lady we were talking to started getting the dog we wanted mixed up. So we just, I don't know, it got a little sketchy. So we pulled our deposit out 
just to be safe. So we got our deposit back. She was actually really nice. I think she just got things mixed up, but we didn't want to take any risks. Um, and now I've been thinking about getting a puppy again, but the only problem is when we go back to the office, whenever that is, let's say it's in July this year, the puppy's gonna have such separation anxiety issues if we stay with it all day and then has to stay at home all day. But then I don't know, are we gonna be work remote permanently? Are we gonna be hybrid workplace? Also, I don't even know where I'm gonna be, where I'm gonna live, just so many questions up in the air, but then also like, I want one so bad. I just want something to take care of. <laughs> I actually want a cat. Cat would be most ideal, but Julian is allergic. Yeah, so I've been I've been browsing the interwebs for dogs. I kind of want to adopt a dog from a shelter, although I'm definitely not prepared to take on a dog that needs a lot of training in terms of healing from past traumas. I'm just not prepared for that. But I wouldn't mind taking in an older dog. I used to volunteer at a nearby animal shelter, and it was. The best thing ever in high school, I'd go there every day after school, play with the dogs, walk the dogs, play with the cats, and yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, anyways, Whole Foods. Food, 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 food. No. No. She doesn't like it. A successful grocery run is complete. We are in unison. Indeed we do. Careful on your body this fish, okay? Thank you, Julian. There's Love some uh, big ones, but not a lot. Agent Sarah and Agent Julian on mission to give Sheldon a bath. Here is the culprit. Oh, I don't know. The character is you. Want some milk cream? So I wasn't going to work out, but then I remembered I wanted to try Tasha Franken Pilates. So that got me excited about trying something new. So then I ended up working out. I did a 16 minute ab Pilates ball session and then did my own yoga flow afterwards. And oh my gosh, it was so hard. I've been doing Melissa Wood Health Pilates for a while and I absolutely love Melissa Wood Health. Her, her videos did start getting a little bit easy. I've only done one video from Tasha Franken, so I can't really speak on it fully. But at a first impression, Natasha Franklin definitely gets your muscles burning a bit more. It was a lot more intense. But yeah, I've been loving Pilates lately. Pilates is definitely not something I loved pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, I was really intense with my workouts. I grew up a competitive swimmer and then I did triathlons in college. But as an ex-athlete, I felt pressure that I just put on myself to keep up my fitness level at the same level I had as an athlete even after I stopped doing those sports activities. And this just was completely unrealistic. I was working out like crazy relative to now and I've definitely chilled out my workouts a lot more and 
it's made room for a lot more things in my life. I'm no longer an athlete and I think that took me a while to come to terms with. And now I just enjoy moving my body and getting my blood flowing to take good care of my health. The reason I wasn't gonna originally work out today was because I ended up working much later and when I work late, I try not to make myself do anything responsible or anything I have to do afterwards and just give myself all that free time because I find that when I start working too much and I don't have enough free time, that's when I end up staying up really late at night because I just don't want my free time to end and then I start feeling burnt out, my sleep schedule gets all messed up. So I try to listen to my body and allow myself enough time to breathe, do nothing, leave time where nothing is planned basically or I don't have any obligations. Um, also, a huge life update or just news in general, my channel got monetized which is crazy. I honestly don't think it's exciting me as much as I originally thought it would. I set a goal at the beginning of 2020 to get monetized by the end of 2020, which it didn't happen in 2020, but it happened in January of 2021. And that's all from this one video that I made, which is how to grow on TikTok. That video has somehow been picked up by the algorithm and it's getting a lot more views relative to what my other videos get. I don't think I'm that worked up over getting monetized or the amount of money I'm making because I love the energy I have with YouTube right now and that's the energy where I don't rely on it for an income. I really enjoy the feeling I have with YouTube right now and I kind of want to keep it sacred like that time being. So yeah, I'm not even going to look at the revenue. I'm not going to try to create content to make more money and I'm really grateful that I'm able to do that. It's a privilege. But still, thank you so much for getting me here. It just, it still feels amazing like i feel recognized like i feel like my work is being recognized good morning everybody well actually it's afternoon now i've been doing some slow work on the laptop and to be fully transparent i feel like poop <laughs> i had really bad period cramps last night so i was up between like 3 to 5 a.m trying to deal with that Oh my gosh, I look like a ghost. I just saw myself in the frame for the first time. I thought you were talking to me. I was kind of talking to you. Oh, well you did it in that weird voice where you're talking to the camera. Oh, do I use a different voice? Yeah. I am not aware of that. Oh my gosh, why do I look so pasty? Hey, pasty's not bad. <laughs> Says you, pasty ginger man. <laughs> Ugh. I look sickly. I look whiter than you. Everybody, happy Friday. I'm feeling really good today. I'm feeling energized. I feel so much better compared to yesterday. You know that feeling you get after you've been sick for a while, you wake up the next day, you just feel so good because you have the chance to appreciate how nothing hurts anymore. That's how I feel right now. On the note of periods, I really need to improve my relationship with my period, with my monthly cycle, with my uterus because I definitely don't treat it the best. I feel like I say I hate my period a lot of the time but in reality, my uterus is doing so much for me. She is my friend. I really just need to take care of her. She is literally the portal to life in this dimension on this planet. Yeah, I definitely need to treat her a lot better. My default mode when I'm on my period is just to get so angry when I'm feeling those cramps because I feel like I can't do all the things I wanted to do and I get really behind. Basically, I get angry because my cramps are affecting my productivity and it's just crazy how much our society has conditioned us to value productivity and maybe i'm looking too much into this but the past couple of years i've been going through a phase of my life where i'm trying to rewire my brain and how i view productivity but it's just crazy that our culture wires us to value productivity so much that we get angry at our body for its needs simply because it affects how productive we can be i read this quote somewhere that we are human beings before we are human doings. So I'm trying to embody that more. Partway through the day yesterday when I was having my cramps, I just changed my mindset and I just let the cramps come. Stop getting upset that they were happening and honestly, it helped a lot. Even just opening my mind and welcoming the cramps, which sounds so weird. But if you get it, you get it. Like you just, you just have to kind of welcome the pain. You gotta stop fighting it. 
On another note, I've also been really getting into the stock market more. It's just been a crazy stock market year. And my boyfriend's really into the stock, so I'm grateful that I can absorb a lot of information from him. I've been trying to move more of my savings into the stock market so that my money isn't just sitting stagnant in my account and it can actually grow. Uh, I'm definitely more of a conservative investor. My boyfriend's a little bit more risky with his strategy. You make me sound like a crazy investor, but I'm a normal investor. <laughs> <laughs> okay, correction. Julian says he's a normal investor. Then what what does that make me? Extremely conservative. You were scared to buy a stock of the S&P 500. No, that that was me like in the very beginning. Now I'm popping ago. like 20 Barnes & Noble shares at okay, once. Okay, see that's more aggressive than me because there's no reason it should go up. <laughs> that's crazy. I like Barnes & Noble. <laughs> that doesn't mean their stock is going to go up. I'm also still thinking about getting a dog. I've been wanting to adopt a dog recently because I realized I don't need a puppy. I've raised my family dog when he was a puppy and that was a lot of work <laughs> uh, and it'd be nice to give a dog who doesn't have a home a home but there are definitely things i'm concerned about that makes me hesitant to make that decision i'm not decided on it at all one thing is i do need a small dog i need to be able to take the dog on the airplane with me since right now i'm not anchored down in one location if we go back to office, Julian will likely be California, I'll be in Seattle, and I also visit my parents' home in Michigan a lot. There's also the health risks with adopting a dog because you don't know its health history and obviously behavioral risks. I don't know if I'm prepared for it. I definitely need to educate myself more on how to work with a dog that may have past traumas. But yeah, I don't know. It's just been on my mind. No decisions have been made. Anyways, for the rest of today, I have some more work to do. I'm still using that mindset of trying to view myself kind of like a freelancer who just has tasks to do relating to my work instead of someone who needs to be at the desk from say nine to five. I always say nine to five because that's like the go-to term for a corporate job, but I don't actually work nine to five. I work more like sometimes 11 to seven, sometimes eight to six. I don't know, it varies a lot especially now that I'm in a different time zone. But I will be going back to Seattle in a little over a week. So I'll be in the same time zone as my office again, which I'm kind of excited about, but it also means that I have to wake up earlier. But it also means I get to get off work earlier. Pros and cons. Anyways, the rest of the day, I have some work to do. My top task today is one, I need to approve a product for mass production. So this is a product that we recently did a design change on. So I need to evaluate all the data relating to its initial build. I also need to revise a specification that I'm writing for a new process that we have created during our remote environment. I had a one-on-one -on -one earlier today. That was a lot of fun. It was with a college hire who also graduated from the same college as me, University of Michigan, and was a mechanical engineer. I don't meet many mechanical engineers at Microsoft because it's predominantly a software company and especially mechanical engineers are college hires. So that was very exciting. I'm probably gonna play some Sims today. I've been absolutely obsessed with Sims. The thing that's been getting me excited to log onto the computer every day is the simsresource.com. They post custom content, new custom content every single day. And I'm always excited to check out what there is. So that's been getting me excited, motivating me to get to work. I should probably go outside today. I haven't been outside properly in a couple of days which probably isn't the best, but I also don't feel a strong desire to be outside lately. I don't know, we'll have to see how the rest of the day goes. It might be fun to also get something creative in. Maybe a yoga flow, maybe a little bit of painting, and maybe drawing with markers in my notebook, we will see. Definitely need to also do some responsible things like plan for going back to Seattle in a week, maybe some laundry, but I don't know, we can spread those throughout the weekend. Friday, we gotta celebrate on Friday. Jealous? Are you jealous that I'm not calling you baby? Oop. I'm having a cleaning session right now and treating myself to some kombucha in a wine glass. Time. Oh, oh. Uh, why every time? What's that called again? It doesn't say it on the call. I've been playing Sims for a little bit, but now it's time to get a workout in. Yeah, workout. Okay, this is my workout, buddy. Hi. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I'm here squeeze, squeeze. to work up. 
Sheldon, ready to work out? Ready to work out? Yes, you are. What do we want to do today? Uh, 